Originally, I wasn't going to do my second at-home overview, but I decided I was going to. Went uh, looking for the bullets that had penetrated all the way through both gel blocks. Could not find any of the high-velocity bullets. This one here, if you watched the other video, was the one traveling at like 1667, I believe it was. So over 1650 when it hit the gel. Beard down went through my table. And I actually found it on the ground there. Um, this one you see here in the gel block was under 1400 feet per second. Tumbled in the gel, hit my table, and bounced back up into the gel block. Um, this high velocity load here came, veered out my blocks were actually the other way. That went down through my table. Thought for sure I'd be able to find that one out there. But, uh, was probably looking for that bolt for close to an hour and couldn't find it, so I gave up. But, uh, overall, decent performing bullet. You know, you look at the design of it. Definitely isn't built for coefficiency and long range. Again, you know, I have not talked to Fox bullets, but I'm thinking that's because the design of their bullets has more to do with, uh, sport hunting and shooting stuff within 300 yards then trying to get something that performs way out there taking the sport of the hunt out of hunting and bringing in sport shooting so it's just kind of my thought there at some point I might reach out to them and see if that is actually the case I know here in America we uh, we have really really gotten away from the sport of the hunt and pushed long range hunting like nobody's business and, you know, my personal belief on that is if you can place an ethical shot that kills the game quickly so it doesn't suffer any more than necessary, you know, they should die quickly, you should have time to recover your animal without any meat loss, then by all means, you know, that's, uh, uh, you know, ethical and humane kill and harvest of the animal, then go ahead and do it, but... I don't want, not, I'm personally not sure we should call it hunting. But looking at some of these lower velocity loads, uh, trying to remember which track is which track for sure. I know this one that goes straight through and all the way out the other side um, was running. Uh, a little over 2,000, or just barely under 19-something uh, feet per second. And, you know, it it's, looks like it tried to start opening about the inch and a half mark and carried permanent wound cavity all the way through the block. But your largest portion of that permanent wound cavity is 2 inches, and that larger portion runs from about that 2-inch mark to it starts tapering down by the 11 and a half inch mark so you know if you're keeping these over 2,000 feet per second they're going to do just fine for you um, high velocity I'm not sure you can necessarily move these fast enough to get them to over grenade and not perform but it opened up pretty much right away that explosive wound channel carrying to the uh, 11 inch mark where it tapered down quickly and then exited the gel block at roughly 20 and a quarter inches um, I shot another high velocity load kind of on the back side of this other block that went all the way through both, both gel blocks the high velocity loads are in that 2900 uh, plus feet per second. I got an air reading on the first one I shot, shot this second one, um, and uh, it was just over 2,900 feet per second on impact. And I hit a little high on the block and, it, and towards this edge, so toward the side, but your larger section of that permanent wound cavity, if I'd have had a clean, clear block and shot in the middle, would have been right around uh, five inches. So overall, not a not a terrible performing bullet. Uh, if you're forced to use full coppers, that are a decent option. I think there's you know, better ones on the market, but uh, overall, 
not terrible. These bullets were actually sent to me by somebody to uh, do this ballistics test for them. And I'm not sure I'm pronouncing the country right, but Slovenia, I think, is the name of that company. Or, not the name of the company, the uh, name of that country he's from. You know, over there in that uh, European area. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at geography and I don't know my foreign countries well. But overall, you know, not terrible performance. And then you can see that other, just not well, that other high velocity load where it hit. And it's just not quite as aggressive as a permanent wound cavity, but close. On this high velocity one from this side, there's a pedal there that it shed. Yeah.